name is Barbara Lika, and today I am filming a music video with my band for my song Coffee Shop just before we go out on tour from coast to coast. I wish I was sober before you came over, but you know that this is making me nervous. I'm drunk in a cafe, you're drinking a latte, and I haven't slept a wink. Wait. Come on. Thank you. The name of the album is I'm Still Learning. Uh, it just was released at the end of, of 2016. It's basically a, an entire album of original songs and arrangements that describe the last two years of my life. It's everything from horrible first dates to horrible last dates to um, spending way too much time on Facebook. The sweat is dripping down to my toes, enjoy the view. The way that it's changed from the last album to this one is that it actually sounds like we're developing a more cohesive sound or something more recognizable. So it's not just necessarily recognizing my voice or my songs, but also recognizing the whole band. It, it used to be, honestly, it was the scariest thing. You would just do all the charts and you'd book the studio and you'd have people come in and you just really hope that that session worked out. But now from the moment I even write the song, I bring it into rehearsals and we actually workshop these together and bring them up to the arrangements that people end up hearing on the recording. So by the time we get into the studio, we're really just old pros with these songs. I think it's just such a confident, efficient process. They're all men in box and have one that talk. Coffee Shop is about, it's a totally true story about a first date that I went on several years ago with this guy that I was just crazy about and I got so nervous to meet up with him that I took some bad advice and had a few martinis right before the date. So I showed up completely intoxicated. <laughs> Can I say that in an EPK? <laughs> and he showed up late. So uh, it was a it was a great combination. Collection. They're all men in box and have one that talks. I feel like a Barbara Lika concert is sort of like a hang. Like a, it it's a hang with me, with the guys in the band, and we're all taking it pretty casually. I'm t saying some pretty embarrassing stuff. Honestly, I'm looking for some people in the audience who can relate because that makes me feel a little better. And we sing everything from the old classics to just some entirely new things I've written. So I feel like when you come out to the show, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get a little bit of my songs and a lot bit of my, my stories. That's part of the experience. We're gonna tell you everything. We're gonna get too close. <laughs> We're just so excited to be going on such a big tour and to be visiting so many jazz festivals. And I hope I don't totally embarrass myself. But if I do, um, maybe just don't tell anybody. this car